What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald Alfred, coming from the beautiful and hot San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I have a quick question for all the people that want to be entrepreneurs, that are trying to become entrepreneurs, want to know more about it, or actually being an entrepreneur. Do you really have the fortitude to own your own business? And when I mean fortitude, I mean, do you have that mm, thing? Do you have that deep down push in you? You know what? I'm going to be real with you. Do you have the balls to run your own business? Because it takes some balls to run your own business. Because one, you are now your own boss. There's nobody there to instruct you. It sounds great, but there's nobody, <clears throat> there's no one there to train you. You have to train yourself. That means you need to set yourself up with a schedule. So you can educate yourself, implement what you're learning. That means you do it. You know, sorry, I understand some people don't understand that. But uh, implement what you're learning and actually make that happen. Another thing that comes with being your own boss is you also have to supply your own finances. There's no one there. You know, when you go to a job, there's already stuff there for you. There's nothing there for you here now at your own place of business. You have to supply that. You might need to buy or rent out a space for your store. You might need to rent out online space like buying your websites and stuff. That's going to be money that's coming out of your pocket. If nobody knows about your business, you're not getting any business. So you're going to have to spend money on advertisement and marketing. That has to happen. Otherwise, your business will not grow because people don't know about it. Or they might see it, but they're not going to stop because they haven't heard about it and they don't know about it. There's only a few people who like to just go out, step out of their box and say, hey, let me try this. But if you have the advertisements right, <clears throat> you will get business. Think about McDonald's. You know their slogans. Loving it. You know, they have the jingles. They have stuff like that. Walmart, you know what they're all about. You see them everywhere. You see their commercials. You know their smiley face. And they're supposed to save you money. I'm not going to lie. They do save you money. I shop at Walmart all the time. But uh, advertisements, you have to pay for it. I mean, you can do all the free advertisements that you want. But that's also, you are your own boss. And unless you have people that are willing to work for you for free, you, you're going to be doing that by yourself. Or you're going to have to still finance your workers which is another thing, <clears throat> which will be your third thing, is you have to finance workers. You're going to be doing a lot of it yourself at the beginning, but the work people don't work for free. So you're going to have to hire workers. And if you're online, you're going to have to pay for things that, that will get you better business and that will work for you. You know, you're going you're gonna to need things to work for you. Otherwise, you will be spending countless and countless hours doing that, breathing hard, going through it. And, you know, it's definitely possible, but people who are using their money to finance the, the, the strategies and the plans that need to be put out, they're going to be doing a lot better than you. And I don't know, I have a thing about competition, but, you know, people doing better than me, I, there's always going to be people doing better than you, but... It makes me drive harder. It gives me more drive. It gives me more push to work harder and get out there and make it happen. So you have to really have the, the, the balls and the nuts to do this because you're going to, you're starting your own business. There's nobody there but you. You're pushing it. You're putting that effort in. You are what's creating the dream. So people are going to be in your business because they know that you are that person. They see that you have that determination, that vision to make that happen. So they will take their livelihood because most people's jobs, they're, they're, they're there. You're there most of your time. A lot of people don't get to raise their kids because they're at their workplace all the time. Your teachers and, and, and they see their, their kids more than them. Straight up. So when you put it in, it comes out. I'm not saying that entrepreneurship is, is, is a... Is like, oh, grow and stress, but really you have to put in the blood, sweat, and tears to set that foundation. Once your foundation is good, then, you know, you're easy sailing, you're, you're rowboating and backstroking. 
But if you don't put that hard work in at the beginning and understand that you have to do this now that you are your own boss, then uh, it'll, it'll definitely help you further. Look, man, if you really want to take your entrepreneurship to the next level, I have some tools down below in the box. It's a couple of videos that you would like, and uh, it would definitely help you further your education and your betterment of your entrepreneurship. It'll uh, definitely put some money in your pocket as well. So click on the link below and uh, learn to become a better entrepreneur. It's your boy Gerald Alford signing out. Subscribe to my page, guys. Do it now. Click that link below now.